Okay, here I am inside the graphics creator, and I'm going to use the templates for blogs uh, template set. Uh, this template set contains graphics and templates that um, are sized for most uh, blog articles. So first, I'm going to have to know what my blog article is about. So I'm going to come over to my web page, my website, Laughing Bird Software, and I'm going to go to our blog. Okay, now the blog has uh, blog articles, but we have but we have some really old articles towards the end of the uh, the list here, like back to 2015. So let's go to uh, I don't know page 11, and I'm going to scroll down till I find something that I need to update because it's too old. Okay, well these don't have featured graphics at all, so let's just pick one of these. I'm going to pick this one. Ten design tools that'll make you look awesome. Okay, now a featured graphic is this. If you use if you use WordPress, you, most blog articles have what they call a featured graphic, which will show up right in this spot. So I'm going to edit the post. Okay, and the featured graphic is over here on the right here somewhere. Featured graphic. There's nothing here. Okay, something broke. I guess it's too old. So I'm going to come back over to the uh, to the graphics creator and. 10 tools that'll make you look awesome. Okay, so here, an already done for me uh, graphic. So the blog article, wait, what was it? It was uh, 10 design tools, okay? So I'm back to the graphics creator and I will type in 10, whoops, <laughs> 10 design tools that'll make you look awesome, okay? And then we position everything so it fits. And this isn't really a design tool, so let's come up here to Elements and see if this template set has anything we could use. Here's Blog Elements. And we have Backgrounds, Flat Objects. Okay, so oh, here we go. So let's get rid of that. And we'll bring this design tool into it. And we'll flip it upside down so it looks better. Or we'll just make it big throughout that like that. And we will send it a little further back behind the letters. All right, so for our test purposes, that is pretty good. Could be centered a little bit more, I suppose. 10 design tools that'll make you look awesome. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to download the image. 10 tools. And it downloads to my downloads folder. Come back to my web page. And here is my featured graphics. So I'm going to remove whatever is broken here. And I'm going to select that featured image now. Upload. Select files. And here it is. 10 tools. Open. It loads in. And then I hit set featured image. It pops up here. I'm going to update the page. And within seconds, OK, minutes. <laughs> There's our new um, our new post. So let's try that one more time. Okay, back to our blog, and let's just see if that graphic came through. Oh, there it is. Look, that looks really cool. Okay, let's go down here really quick to I don't know page. Let's go do some uh, a newer, a more recent post. Okay, so we didn't have uh, ideas for our articles. We kind of had placeholders for a little while. So as our uh, as Lisa and I uh, fill up our blog, we're going to replace these with real graphics. So let's do that in real time. Let's do, uh, let's take this one, how to share content on social media to grow your business. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it. And I'm going to edit this post. And in the meantime, while this page is loading, let's go find a blog graphic that has to do with social media. All right, let's go back down to the templates for blogs. And nothing here really calls out social media immediately, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go to here. Let's, let's try this one. This looks good. Click on that. And the article was called How to Share Content on Social Media. Okay. Back, and we're going to write in. Okay, I'm going to do a few things here really quick. I'm going to bring the letters closer, and I'm going to use this tool, the Text Styles tool. So I'm going to double click on everything to, to highlight it. Text Styles. I want the text to be white, but I want the background 
to be black, gray, or blue, or whatever. So let's try that. Okay, and then a trick I like to do is put a space in the front and at the end so it gives it some more space. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for this. So I'm going to make this bigger, make that smaller. And now this graphic isn't really social media, but that's okay. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to come up here to Photos and Videos, and I'll type in Social Media and see what pops up. And there's a whole bunch of graphics. We're going to try, I don't know, how about this one because she's doing social media. So all I have to do is make it bigger, all the way like this. It's not really working. I don't feel that she's sharing things. She doesn't look happy. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to come up here and try and find, let's try this one. Bring up the color here. Okay, that's a little bit better. And now I'm going to uh, download this. We'll call this sharing. And we'll download it to our downloads folder and come back to the article and come over here. And we're going to replace this image. I'm going to upload the graphic, select my file. Here it is, sharing and open it and make that the featured image make sure i update the page all these buttons to click and now i can view my post and let's see what happened cool there's my featured graphic